Crews are out searching for two fishermen who went missing after their boat capsized in Lower Red Lake yesterday. Reporter Sherelle Moore has the latest on the efforts to find the two men. Searching by land, water and air, more than eight different agencies, including the U.S. Border Patrol and the FBI, joined the search for two missing fishermen. The incident happened late Monday afternoon near an area called the Cutoff on the eastern side of Lower Red Lake. The two men were joined by another man on the boat who was able to make it to shore. That man was taken to the Red Lake Indian Health Services to be treated for hypothermia. Hospital staff tell me he has since been released. At this point we really don't know if it was because of the wind or if uh, there was some other reason. Uh, the person who had made it to shore was disorientated. Uh, so that uh, information we still have to determine, but there was a, a pretty good brisk wind yesterday, so uh, I mean, that's highly possible. One of the missing men has been identified as 29-year-old Dylan Bolio. The other is a 17-year-old male. Crews spent yesterday evening searching for them until one conservation officer started showing signs of hypothermia at around 6 p.m. Uh, we didn't no longer wanted to jeopardize anybody else on the lake, and, and uh, so a decision was made to call the search off on the water. <clears throat> However, a search still continued on the shoreline. Dozens of volunteers were out here searching by land and by water. Police say the searches could last all night. Yesterday's search also provided challenges, including a lake that was freezing fast. Agencies made sure to address those issues today. My understanding is some of the uh, lines, gas lines are freezing up on some of the boats due to the extreme temperatures. So obviously today we need to be better prepared and make sure that uh, there's some type of additive uh, for the gas lines to prevent them from freezing. So, Leaders also say they plan to break the ice in order to get out to the main body of water. In Red Bee, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. If anyone knows anything about the fishermen, they are urged to call Red Lake Law Enforcement at 218-679-3313. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.